What's up guys? Promo 1701 here and we're doing an unboxing today. Uh, Ultra Sabres has just started doing mystery boxes. Uh, they have um, two different ones, a $75 mystery box and a $200 mystery box. And they're just what the name says. You, you don't know what you're going to get. You're taking a chance. Uh, the $75 box could be anything. It could be a stunt saber, a saber with sound, uh, emerald, diamond, anything. You just never know what you're going to get. The hilt is completely random and the blade color is completely random. The $200 box means you're guaranteed at least sound. So you won't get any stunt savers. You could get sound, V4 sound, V3 sound, diamond, emerald, emerald and sound. Who knows? Um... I went with a $75 box because I actually just had a, I had $76 worth of rewards points. So I really just had to pay the shipping because I've just been hanging on to my rewards points forever and a day. Another great thing about Ultra Savers is for every time you every time you spend money with them, you do acquire rewards points and they add up. So I was able to get my $75 mystery box pretty much for free, just a uh, cost of shipping basically. Uh, the first thing I notice is that the box is different than the boxes I'm used to getting my Ultra Sabres in. They used to come in the more brown cardboard rectangular boxes, whereas this is more of the this is the FedEx triangular shaped box. So this is a different box. I have no idea what it is. I haven't opened it yet. I have no idea we're going to figure it out together. Um, I don't know what, what the hilt is. I don't know what the blade color is. It's... Uh, I've seen where a couple people have already gotten a couple of theirs in. One guy got a, a $75 when he got a graphics with sound. Another guy got a Reaper. I think somebody got an Eon. Somebody got a Dark Sentinel. There have been some good ones going out. Uh, this first Ultra Savers I've bought in a while, but I love mystery boxes, so I wanted to give it a shot. Kind of... They really tape it up. And of course, I've been focusing on my Transformer collecting. Because I collect figures too. I'm a big Transformers fan. I got You can see behind me. I've got a bunch of Transformers behind me. My Fans Toys Dinobots. Just got in the Make Toys Point Blank. Uh, which is my second Make Toys. Also had their Coppola, which is their Chrome Dome. Okay. We've got it open. There's a lot of peanuts. I hate peanuts. But they are good for packing, so garbage can. Yeah, at my age, that's exciting. And we got the little hex screw and the thing here. Let's, let's look. Let's see what I don't know what that is. It's wrapped up. This looks like my blade. I have a 32 inch blade. They do let you pick your blade length. I got a 32 inch mid grade. Let you pick the blade type too. I went with the mid grade. I tend to prefer mid grades for most things. And the hilt is <laughs> still covered up so you don't know what it is. Interesting. Oh Lord, I'd swear my ant wrap for a piece of wrap present for days to get into. Set that down now. Ah. No idea what it's going to be. Hoping it's something I like. Maybe something I don't have yet. That'd be interesting. Let's see what it says. I can't tell. It's got some writing on it. V4 AV. It's got some writing on there. I'm looking at it real quick. CW1 B L E something L E. Dominic's L E, I think maybe. V4 with an AV. It's a Dominic's. Oh, it's a V3. Nope, looks like a Dominic's V4. No sound, just an AV switch in what looks like Guardian Blue. Not bad. I've never had a Dominix V4, so I did get a hilt 
that uh, I've never had before. That's pretty neat. Let's see. Standard battery setup. That's a nice little saver. I like it. It's actually pretty comfortable. Just um, initially feeling it. I've never had a Dominix V4 or any of the V4s like this, the Eon, the Dominix. Uh, it's got the windows right here because there is a windowed and a non-windowed version. This is with windows. It does have a black AV switch. That's very nice. I love AV switches uh, with the standard AAA battery setup. Hmm. screw is holding it. So what we need is our little hex screw right here. It does come with one. So we just back that bad boy up a little bit. Let's see, it's a single LED, so it's not the Tri-Guardian Blue, it is the standard Guardian Blue. It's actually really comfortable. I like it. It's been a while since I got a, uh, a new Ultra Saver. As you can see the Guardian Blue light shining through the windows right there. Um, I'm going to have to uh, really play around with it a little, a little bit. I like that pommel on it. Comfortable. Um, get used to it. It's the first time I've ever had a stunt saver with an AV switch, so that's kind of nifty. Uh, but my initial thoughts are that I like it. Uh, Guardian Blue is my favorite uh, blade color, so that works out really well. And the silver and black go really well on the uh, Dominix V4. And it's more comfortable than I would have thought. The reason I've never gotten one is it just didn't look comfortable to me. It's actually pretty comfortable to hold. So I'll probably take a few days, uh, get used to it, play around with it a little bit, and then uh, try to get an actual review up. So this is Problem 1701. This has been my first mystery saver, uh, mystery box unboxing. Uh, this is the $75 box. They also have a $200 box. If you're interested, check them out at ultrasavers.com. This is the Dominix V4, and thank you for watching.